Have you ever drunk a cool drink? You tasted that it was sweet, but you could not see the sugar. Pour some water into a beaker. Place one teaspoon of sugar into the water. Stir the mixture for a few minutes. You will observe that the sugar cannot be seen anymore. The sugar has not disappeared. The sugar has dissolved in the water. The water made the parts of sugar separate. The molecules of sugar are between the molecules of water. It is important that you understand the different ideas about the solubility of matter. Look at these definitions. The solvent is the material in which the solute dissolves. The solute is the material that dissolves in the solvent. A solution is a mixture of a solute and a solvent. A soluble material happens when a material can dissolve in a solvent. An insoluble material is when a material cannot dissolve in a solvent. A saturated solution happens when there is too much solute in a solvent for the solute to dissolve anymore. An unsaturated solution describes when a solute can dissolve in a solvent. Let us try some investigations. We are asking the question, are all materials soluble in water? So, the aim of this investigation is to determine if all materials are soluble in water. What do you hypothesize will happen in the investigation? Do you predict that all materials are soluble in water? Or do you predict that some materials are soluble in water? To conduct this investigation, use the following materials. Cake flour, chalk, sunflower oil, mealy meal, methylated spirits, soil, paraffin, polystyrene plastic, sugar and table salt. Mix each of the materials with water. What do you observe? The cake flour is a solid and is insoluble in water. The chalk is a solid and is insoluble in water. The sunflower oil is a liquid and is insoluble in water. The mi lai meal is a solid and has some insoluble parts and some soluble parts. The methylated spirits is a liquid and is soluble in water. The soil is a solid and has some insoluble parts and some soluble parts. The paraffin is a liquid and is insoluble in water. The polystyrene plastic is a solid and is insoluble in water. The sugar is a solid and is soluble in water. The table salt is a solid and is soluble in water. From this investigation we may conclude that some materials are soluble in water. Can mixtures be separated using filtration? The aim of this investigation is to determine if mixtures can be separated using filtration. We can formulate a hypothesis. Do you predict that mixtures can be separated using filtration? Or do you predict that mixtures cannot be separated using filtration? To conduct this investigation, use a beaker or glass bottle, a funnel and filter paper. You can use filter paper used in coffee machines. Next, make a mixture of rice and water. Pour the mixture of rice and water into the funnel and through the filter paper. What do you observe? The water flows through the filter into the beaker. The rice remains in the filter. Do you think that the mixture has been separated? We may conclude from this investigation that mixtures can be separated using filtration. For the final investigation for this lesson, the question that is asked is, can mixtures be separated using evaporation? If we write this question as the aim of the investigation, we may write to determine if mixtures can be separated by evaporation. You should be able to make one of these predictions about the investigation. 
Which hypothesis do you choose? I predict that mixtures can be separated by evaporation. Or, I predict that mixtures cannot be separated by evaporation. Conduct this investigation as follows. Use a metal pot that has a lid. Make a mixture of water and rice. Pour the mixture into the pot. Heat the contents of the pot. Let us discuss what we observe. The water in the beaker is made of many drops of water that are made of many water molecules. The drops of water are liquid. When heated, the molecules of water separate and form water vapor. The water vapor is a gas and cannot be seen. The water evaporates in the form of water vapor. The molecules of water vapor come into contact with the lid of the pot. The lid of the pot is cooler. The coolness of the pot lid causes the water vapor to condense. Condensation means that the water molecules come together again to form drops of water. The drops of water are a liquid. The rice cannot evaporate. So, the rice remains in the pot. The drops of water that have condensed on the lid of the pot are called distilled water. Distilled water is the purest type of water that can exist. In conclusion, we can decide that the water and rice were separated. Therefore, the scientific rule we can make about this investigation is that mixtures may be separated by evaporation. Here is a summary of the main ideas for this lesson. A solution is a mixture of a solvent and a solute. The solvent is the material in which the solute dissolves. A solute is the material that dissolves in the solvent. The solute does not disappear in a solution. The molecules of a solute separate out in a solvent and move into the spaces between the molecules of the solvent. A filter may be made using a funnel, filter paper and a beaker or bottle. Mixtures may be separated using filtration. Evaporation happens when liquid water is heated and the water molecules separate out. Condensation happens when water vapor molecules are cooled and come together to form drops of water. Condensed water is distilled water and is the purest water. Mixtures may be separated using evaporation. Ha ha ha!